Best time they say to network or when you know no one in the room. Yeah, I, I will say I agree because you can have the biggest come up of not knowing nobody to knowing one, two, three people. You came in not knowing nobody. You left out knowing a few more. You with your boy Fine Wine. Passing out the zones where I'm comfortable. Trying to build a home like the hugs the boast. Searching for my niche and my getting close. Pass me the ball, I deliver in the post. Give and go. You know where we going straight to the tip top of your anus your brain is aimless it can get dangerous it can get dangerous michael jackson bad ain't felt this bad since i was a bad boy j-lo's and halos come by the quesos ain't that what you asked for do what you asked for clap for ain't no time to wait better stay ready or you might be late Better stay ready or you might be late. Uh. I've been up all night searching for you. I've been chasing you, love. I want What's good is day three. And I'm hoping that, you know, you kind of get in the gist of what this fast is about. You know, it's supposed to help you and uh, benefit you internally and externally. Today, we're going to be talking about networking. And this is uh, ways that you can <clears throat> increase your revenue gain new streams just get and basically have more options you can change your circumstance and situation all by networking right so um i just started doing these uh lessons and uh trainings when i was the J uh, jrt teacher for the family workforce center of america basically it's a life coach for out of school youth youth ages 16 to 24 and so most of those students are you know kicked out of school been in jail pregnant all kind of things excuse my tire i just got done working out but by the way this is the uh we just live in uh jogger set you know i got the bottoms on too with it bam great workout today but um i started doing these lessons and this is basically and also helped myself uh on the way because i had to realize uh you have to practice what you preach and once I started practicing what I preach, all the doors started opening for me when you when it makes when you start, you know, and make sense out of it. And so uh, I started using the people that I knew could get the job done or point me in the right direction, because now you're kind of filtering who is there and they're not and not for you. What options are good and are not good for you? Some things you might want to try, some things you want to forget, some things you want to, you know, let go, go by the wayside. This is why. We are here doing the red wine commitment. It's 45 days, and in 45 days, you, be, you should be able to change your outcome and outlook. So, networking. What is it to you? I'll let you, you know what I'm saying, give it a second. If you are writing something down, if you, you should have a notebook if you uh, are watching this. So, what is it to you? All right. So, check it out. This is the definition they give us, right? To, in, to interact with other people, to exchange information and develop contacts, especially to further one's career, right? So if you get somebody's information, say you're at a business mixer, right? And so you say, you, you talk about, say you just needed a job, you get somebody's number. So the, the best thing is to do is give them a call, right? Because the thing is, you need a job. That's, and you already talking and selling yourself at that moment, that is your leverage to get that said job, right? All you have to do is make the call. And when you make the call, it makes, it makes you look like you are in pursuit of something you're trying to get. So when you're in pursuit of something you're trying to get, people want to help you get there. But you got to show that you're trying to get there. And this is how you build your network. Your network is basically your currency that shows what you are able to do, get, and make happen, right? Because you need certain people in your corner just to make certain things happen, right? So we, you got to figure out why is networking important. And so here are some of the things why they say networking is important. Uh, you never know who you'll meet at any given time. Furthermore, you may come to need connections to help down the road. Without proper networking skills, you may miss opportunities to meet people who could benefit you in the future. That's why I've always said you are a walking billboard or whatever you're trying to sell. Think about it. it I mean, currently right now, I have on a We Just Living hat and a We Just Living jogger outfit. I always got the We Just Living tattoos embedded in my skin. But when you
when you think about it, at any given time, somebody can say, hey, do you make, do you do this? Do you do that? And all they got to do is look at me, right? So this is, uh, this is my networking tool already. This is what's going to get me inside the gate. So, I'll, you know, you never know who, you, who you'll meet at any given time. You'll never know. That's why you got to be ready. Um, some I've read a passage before in the Bible says be ready in season and out of season, right? Because you never know. Opportunities could walk right to you and you not be ready for them. And now you got to wait a whole nother, you know, a week, month, year, whatever, just to get prepared. And most people, they play sports uh, or they play anything. Whatever you want, you usually have it on you. So let's just say Kobe Bryant. He used to say that it takes 10,000 hours to master your craft. So what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to have that basketball with you all the time. Me as a photographer, I have my camera with me at all times. You never know or just you can practice your craft, learn something new, whatever. It's conversations to be had because I know if I have my camera, somebody's going to come up to me if they're a photographer, a videographer, whatever. Hey, bro, what you shooting with? That's a conversation. And then after that, guess what? We'll, do, we'll exchange contacts and we might work together, right? So... It is important to possess networking skills for the benefit of maintaining relationships in general. Think about this, right? If I got a friend that is a musician, right, and maybe I'm not in that field. However, I know somebody else that, you know, maybe a DJ or uh, an engineer, mix and master. If, that, if my friend needs that, I'll say, hey, bro, or hey, sis, whatever. I know somebody that can get you to that next step or open the door for you. And guess what? That bridges the gap. That right alone bridges the gap. So when you're using your network, it's not only for you, but it's also for the people who you have around you. And so networking environments, you got work. Well, I mean, it's a lot, it's different. You know, a lot of things with COVID is a lot of remote, but now you have to rely on the virtual side. So now those virtual calls, Zoom calls, Skype calls, FaceTimes, whatever, they're so much more important because now you still have to build some type of chemistry with the people who you work with or you, just anybody. It's a different type of game, So, but you still can network. Some places are open like Walmart and everything. So you got Walmart. Some schools are open. Social events that, you know, I'm in Atlanta, so everything's open. Not even going to lie. Everything's open. So there's everywhere you can network. I've networked with tons of people since I've been down here. Uh, social media, that's the biggest spot right now because everybody's on social media 24-7. Everywhere is an opportunity to network. It just takes an LO. That's it. That's time they say to network or when you know no one in the room. Yeah, I, I will say I agree because you can have the biggest come up of not knowing nobody to knowing one, two, three people. You came in not knowing nobody. You left out knowing a few more. But yes, it can be hard because when you don't know anybody, sometimes it can be scary. I'm not going to lie. I've been that person where I've been in a room full of people who I didn't know. Now, I've been a photographer for the most part, the photographer for the most part, but I didn't know anybody. So sometimes for me, I have to walk around the room because it may be somebody I kind of know, like we met in passing, whatever, and then that's the first conversation. Or I might go talk to the bartender, get a drink, and then after that, I, but at the end of the day, I have to execute. That's one thing I've realized growing into this position where I'm at now. I have to execute no matter what. I have to... Um, network. I have to talk. I have to do what I have to do in order for my brand, my business, and me to keep growing. I can't just be in there thinking somebody's going to speak to me all the time. I have to put the effort forth myself as well. And that's what's kind of propelled me into this position where I'm at, right? In networking, when, once you get to that initial conversation, you need to have that 30-second elevator speech about what you can do and how you can benefit the next person. And if you have that all together, now you look more of a total package. And guess what? That is a great first impression, right? And we'll talk about impressions tomorrow because those are, I'm talking about, extremely important. You only get three, sometimes, but sometimes you only get one. So the first one is the most imperative, and that is going to either increase your networking or it can, you know, be over before it started. Um, now in that 30 second speech, you got to be able to sell yourself. That's the biggest point. You, I remember when we were, I was in LA and I went on a trip with some, uh, my bandmates, two, uh, two of them, and we were in front of some record execs. And so they just asked us what we wanted to do while we were out here. And all I said is I wanted to sell myself. Now in that type of way, it may have sounded a little off, but the thing is I have 
I have a personality. I have more things than just being a musician uh, to sell. And I'm, I wanted to be socially acceptable in any market. And that's what I chose to become, be socially acceptable. So when I walk in the room, I can network easier. And for me, my tool was the camera. A lot of other people, you know, you might have to do a little different uh, techniques or whatever. But my, te my technique and my tool was a camera. One thing about when you're engaging in these conversations, you never want to be too assertive uh, or narcissistic because nobody wants to listen to somebody talk about themselves and gloat. So for me, I... I don't really like talking about myself. I'm rather listen. I got my degree in psychology too, so I'd rather listen to somebody else and see where I can fix the holes for them. As an entrepreneur, that's what you do. You try to go fill the void of people and what they're missing. And so that's what I try to do. And so um, I would use my effective listening skills to get that job done. And so you say, what is effective listening? This is a definition. Communication technique that re requires the listener fully concentrate, understand, respond, and then remember what was being said. So then you can expound on that and build keep on building on it you know because you want to look like you're paying for it's full attention because guess what you want the opportunity right so you're going to listen to who's ever talking and who's ever talking you need to be the sponge you don't sometimes you need to know it's not a time to talk it's a time to listen and everybody wants to talk and you can't always talk you always sometimes you just have to there's been plenty of times where i've sat in a meeting with uh on the side of veggie and then say a word until after the meeting was over. And then we talked about stuff. You got to know your lane and know what you're able to do and what you're able to say because you don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. And because do you know what that does to your networking? Nobody wants to work with you. And so guess what? You don't make any money or you stay stagnant, right? So it is important to practice active listening. So not only as a networking tool, but as a life tool as well, right? Uh, it allows you to fully engage in conversation and you won't miss anything from it. So um, that is what we got off for today. Um, well, yeah, and so you won't miss anything from it. And so just for uh, a quick reference, and I'll let y'all go. I always used to bring up, if you guys watch Love and Hip Hop, they fight, they argue at everybody's events. They do all this, they create all this drama and in other people's venues. And just think if they weren't celebrities, would they be able to do that and still go to other spots, right? Other locations, other venues and book that, book it for anything, right? But it, but you got to think if it's us, you know, they're going to make a call. Oh, Jamaris can't, shouldn't be here. I've, I've seen it when I lived in uh, St. Louis. One girl, she worked all up on St. Charles Rock Road at all the restaurants. And then she was trying to go to the last spot. By the time she tried to go get a job at the last spot, the whole, you know, manager line on that street at the restaurants called everybody and said, do not hire her. Your name is all you got and your word is all you got when it comes down to this. And so when you mess up your networking and you fighting at all these different venues and you creating all these different problems, you won't be able to do anything. You're going to have to reinvent yourself. And in the reinvention, that still doesn't guarantee you people will accept you after that. You need to make sure you're taking care of your network like you want it to take care of you, right? And the more you give to it, the more it should give back. And if it's not given enough, you need to go find another network to latch on to and so you can be more successful. And it can, you know, change your outlook and perspective. So I'll talk to y'all later. Thank y'all for tuning in. And uh, I'll talk, hey, this is day three, day four tomorrow. We going with it. And I thank y'all for tuning in. Be safe, be loved, find you, be you, love you. And we just live in the only way. And we up one. Let's go.